Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be setting up, testing and reviewing this Honda Easy petrol mower. Right then, we've got this fantastic Honda Easy mower here, fresh out the box, okay? Um, it was put together by the company who, who sent it to us. It's a demonstration model, but it's never been started. So we've already got oil in there and it is ma the majority of it is set up. I'm not quite sure how they do arrive normally, but I'm pretty sure with Hondas that they are pretty much together as they should be. Um, we've got the grass box here in the frame. We've just got to put that together. That's a, a couple of minute job. And we've just got to lift the handles up and to lock those in place. Now, you can lift these handles up and down if you're storing the mower, you don't want the handles out, you can fold them over um, and you move this backwards and forwards. But I'll show you a little knack uh, to how to get them up into the position that we need to first. But before that, if you haven't had one of these mowers before, then please do look at the manual. It's a double-sided depending on which language you're reading it in, so there's two sides to it. And there's also a warranty and registration form and a little bit of service information in there. And it really is a great little booklet, okay? It gives you the full model numbers, all that sort of information, loads and loads of interesting stuff. So really handy, have a read through that before you start your mower. But let's get the handle up and I'll uh, show you my little trick for that. So when you're lifting the handle up, right, we're lifting this up and it'll come up to there and it's no bother. When we start to move it along now, we're pulling on the start rope and we don't want to start the mower, do we? We don't want to start the mower. So we make sure our fuel taps off down at the side and we lift this up. Now, there's a lot of compression on that engine. We can pull this down and that releases it slowly, right? And we can move this over the top, clip it into position, let that go. That's held there more or less. And then we just tighten these two little thumb wheels, either side. There you go, you heard the click as it went in. And that is that solid look. Handles in place, perfect. Right, let's move on to the grass box. Okay then, this is uh, probably the trickiest uh, bit of the whole operation here. We've got a, the grass bag or the grass catcher or the grass box, whichever, whichever way you prefer to call it. He's a grass catcher and he's actually a bag with a metal frame. Now we put it onto the metal frame with this at the top and this is our handle here. So when we're clipping it on and off the back, that stays on top. Now you'll notice that I've already put this bar on the bottom, okay? It put that one on the bottom and that gives you your, your sort of tension to set it up. It's so hard to get this one on if you leave it till last. If you do have any problems, there's a tab there. You can pull this down, bend this over and that'll help you get this one back off. But once that's on, that's pretty much on there for life. Um, then start off with the one that runs up the side on there. And then secondly, we look at this and we just put the, the one on on the side. Okay, so I'll... Um, Bring you in a bit closer and you can see exactly how they clip onto the side and clip onto the top uh, across the top of the frame. So to connect this to the actual frame what we do is pull this apart with our fingers. If you aren't strong enough to do that you need sort of a, an old bluntish type of screwdriver that you can just prise this apart with. You don't want to damage the, the bag because this bag is designed to let the air flow through but keep the grass inside okay so that's what the mesh is for. But we split this, and once that's split, then hopefully we can push this on, and it should clip over. There you go, we've got it. And that clips over to there. So that's on, and that's now tight, right? The next one that we've got here is on the top. So we pull this one out. Now these are a little bit tough because there's not much flex in those. Well, that went on a bit easier than I thought. So that's that one on. Then we can turn it round and do the one on this side. Probably won't see much of my hand in the way there, but there you go, that's that on. And you can take that off, look, they just clip on and off as easy as that. So that's that, that's that one. And then we've just got these two left at the side. So we put those on round there, and that on round there. And that's your grass bag or catcher all assembled. Right then, so we've got the grass catcher together, got the handle up. Before we start though, we need to make sure that everything's in order. Like I said, this was delivered to us, um, mostly set up. There was already oil in it. If uh, yours doesn't come like that, if you don't, you don't buy it from a dealer and you have a pre-delivery inspection and stuff, you buy it online, it's delivered to you, um, you won't have oil in it. They have to put oil in there to test the engine, 
but because of the laws in the UK, they have to remove the fuel and the oil before it goes through the postal system, okay? So you need to check your oil, whether you're putting any in or not, you need to check the oil before you start the motor. So we pull this dipstick out on here, get a bit of rag, clean that off. And what we're looking for is when we put it back in, we've got a little sort of hatched bit on there where my thumb is, that's the top of my thumb, and that's where we need the oil to be there or thereabouts, okay? It's all in the manual, so if you can't remember what's been said in this video, you can double check in the manual, right? But that's where it needs to be. So you pop that in, um, sit on the top, and that's where you measure the, the depth of oil in there. And if we look at ours, it's true to form, it's bang on the line at the top where it should be, which it's had a pre-delivery inspection from the dealer and come to us, so that's exactly where I, I should think it would be, okay? So that's that done. Now, we screw that on and that's in there, done. Um, if you do need to put oil in there, it's a, a 1040 oil or a 1030 oil. SAE 30 is what we have here in the UK. Use a, a good quality oil if you can, but the best oil that you can buy, really. Um, they sit in this machine for an entire year. They sit there in the sump. When you fire them up, it needs to be running straight away. So the better quality oil you have, the longer the life of the engine will be. Okay, now I'll turn the mower around and we'll have a quick look at the bits and pieces on the other side. So then, now we've turned it round, it's a little bit more interesting on this side, isn't it? We've got the uh, air filter box on there. Um, you don't need to worry about that. The air filter comes pre-installed. If um, you ever have any running problems or anything, you can take that out, clean it, put it back in. In fact, it is advisable to clean those on a regular basis. Um, make sure you check out my servicing videos or petrol engine servicing videos uh, to find out how to do that, okay? Um, on the top here, this is our fuel. This takes unleaded. Um, you can use E5 or E10 according to the manual. We prefer to use E5 really with um, just a slightly higher octane. Um, I think for domestic use, it's not really going to make a difference, but commercial use day in, day out, you can get a bit more engine wear, but E5 or E10 is fine. If they say it's fine, then I'm sure it's fine, okay? And then the height adjusters for the wheels. Now, we've got one per set, uh, per axle. So there's one on the back and one on the front. Um, you just pull the lever out and it drops down and then just pull it back and it lifts up again. So it's as simple as that. Pull it through and it will click down. We've got about one, two, three, four, five seven height adjustments on there so there's quite a lot you can see we can drop it right down to the floor there you know that's that's your cutting super low that's sort of fine turf and then lift it back up and then that, that's at its high setting okay and the only other thing on this side here is the um the fuel lever i can lift that up a bit that's the fuel tap lever uh, if you're ever transporting it from site to site turn the fuel lever off uh, the fuel switch off it stops the petrol going through. Um, if you're ever servicing it as well, you can turn that off. Um, we're going to run it, so I'm going to put it to the on position so the fuel can get from there down to the carburetor, save us a bit of time later. And then round on the front, last but not least, oh, if I can pull that out, is the uh, spark plug. So again, that all comes pre-assembled. It's all done, it's all in there. There's no need to worry about it. Just make sure everything's tight before you try and start the mower. Okay then, so we're at the back of the mower now. Not far to go until we're cutting some grass, because I know that's what we're all here for, to see the grass being cut. But just to make sure you've got all this right before we start, and it'll make it a, a lot better experience. Right, with this mower, we can cut grass, and we don't have to have the grass collector on, right? You can cut grass, and it'll cut it, and it'll throw it out the back, and it'll hit this deflector, and it'll come out of here, and it'll come down onto the floor. You can see this is brand spanking new, never been used, so it's really clean. And it'll come out onto the floor, so if you're cutting really long, thick grass, and you want to take it down by roughly about a third, you can just use that without the grass collector on and use it, and cut it a few days in a row, wait for it to dry, and then you can put the box on and collect it up, and you'll get a good finish. However, if you're mowing a lawn like this that obviously needs doing, but it's not out of control, we can put the grass collector on and we can pick up all the grass and make a nice neat job. Now with these Hondas there is something else, there's a little rubber flap down at the bottom there, I don't know if you can see this rubber flap at all, but you've got a rubber flap at the bottom there. Now it's not a roller so you're not going to get a heavy stripe but it does provide some sort of direction for the grass. So as we're cutting the grass the rotary blade will spin round and cut the grass and the 
rubber at the back will just sort of smooth it over. So if you do walk in lines up and down, you will get a faint stripe. The more you mow in that direction, the stronger the stripe will be. Okay, so you might not stripe it up the first time, but if you do, it will work. It's it's not going to be the best. You've got a rotary mower here that's cutting sort of grass. It, it will be good and you'll get a great finish with it. But if you want stripes, then you do need a different machine. But that's a great little add on there. It does make a difference because, well, I've got to admit, I've got a little bit of a soft spot for these mowers because I bought one of these commercially when I first started. I know it's not a commercial mower. I bought the one a little bit bigger than this. This is a 16 inch cut. Mine was a little bit bigger. Um, and I used it and we used it extensively week in, week out for, I don't know, think about six or seven years till we upgraded to a bigger, more expensive Honda. And it did a fantastic job for us. It really did. And we had lots of comments wherever we went on how great the grass looked. So, you know, I've got a soft spot for these. They, 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 they've, they've, they've stood me well over the years. They've stood me well. Right. Now, grass collector, if we're collecting grass, we put it on like this. Remember when we put it together, we've got a handle on top. There's two slots either side, and we've just got two pins here and here, right? We put that on, we clip it in, put that down, and that's it. Grass comes up into the bag, air comes out the bag, grass trapped inside. If you're ever having problems with it not picking up very well, you had the mower for a while, it's probably because this is damp or clogged up, you need to clean it out, dry it out properly, right? Last but not least, let's just have a quick look at the blade, right? I've got the mower the wrong way round there to show you. I'll turn it round this way. Whenever you tip the mower over, always tip it towards the oil filler side, okay? Because it's designed to be tipped over that way for the oil to drain out, right? So we'll tip it over like so, and we can look at the blade on the bottom. Now, it's a brand new blade. It's never cut grass, 16 inches across, some perforations in there. That's just to it enable it to spin round and to push the grass through the back. Right, let's turn it round, let's fire it up and cut some grass. Right then, last but not least, before we start the machine, is this handle here, called the dead man's handle, right? Or the safety handle. You can pull this until the cows come home and it won't start. You need this to be in there to be able to engage the engine, okay? There's a little micro switch down the bottom. When you pull this lever up, it lets the engine know that it can be started. You pull the cord and away it goes. You let go of this at any time and it will stop. The blade will stop, the machine will stop. That's it, it finishes. So that's how you turn it off. Just let go of the handle, okay? I just whiz it round. Now there's no primer on these. They are easy start. So we just engage the handle like so, pull the rope. Now this one hasn't been started. So I'm just gonna pull it a couple of times just to get some fuel through and let the oil circulate around the engine. That should be enough. Fingers crossed, here we go. Love it. Let's cut some grass. Hey, so that went pretty well then, didn't it? Uh, didn't take long. The lawn here at, at my place is about 70 square metres, give or take a little bit around the edges for a path, etc. Um, the average UK lawn size is about 140 metres squared, so twice the size of this one. It took me about 10 minutes in all, so 20, me uh, 20 minutes for the average lawn. You've got a bigger than average lawn, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, no bother at all. How much fuel did it use? I'll tell you how much it used. But, 
barely a drop. <laughs> There's a, it's almost a full tank in there, still it didn't use any really. And then from the, uh, the fuel consumption, you know, the noise of the mower, there's hardly anything to it really, is that it, it's not loud for a petrol mower. You plod up and down. It, it's a nice sounding engine. It's not a harsh sort of sounding engine. It's a nice sounding engine. And the grass clippings as well. Now, we took off a lot more than I actually thought. The, the grass was a lot longer than I thought. I thought we were just going to run over and give it a bit of a light sort of tickle and get some bits and pieces off. But actually, there's a lot more off there than I thought. So. You know, it did well really, it never missed a beat, it just plodded backwards and forwards, no bother at all. It, it doesn't break a sweat, these mowers don't, they, they're sort of, the, the way they're set up, they're just set up and they just run a little bit above idle and they'll spin that blade round and as long as you take it nice and steady walking backwards and forwards, it'll just work a treat. Um, as you can see from the grass, it's not particularly striped, you can see where I've been and where I haven't been, which is uh, not bad at all really. But um, Prolonged use, prolonged cutting in the same directions will force a nap of the grass over and that will give us a stripe. Okay, so in conclusion, am I happy with it? Yes, I'm happy with it. I told you, I've used these before on a commercial basis. They have served me very, very well. They're easy to service, easy to maintain, loads of parts available for them from all over the internet and they have main dealers everywhere. So they're, they're great little machines. They're easy to clean down as well. Um, we'll empty the grass box out into the bin and just give this a little bit of a brush off or a blow off. And that'll be it. Pop it into the shed for next time. If it does get damp underneath, you can turn it over. Remember, oil side over to there and just give it a rub round on the bottom. Um, just for safety purposes, if you're doing that and messing with a blade, just undo the spark plug cap, please. Just in case anybody puts that and you turn the blade around and it fires up okay just give it a clean out underneath but that's it from me if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe i really do appreciate it anything nice to say or anything else about these mowers pop it in the comment section below and i'll try and answer each and every one of you okay uh, thanks again for watching i'm jimmy the mower i'll catch you on the next one